All right, now we're ready to wire up our fuses and charge controller on the solar panel DC side. We've got our charge controller ready to go. We're just going to slip our BX wire, which I've actually insulated one of the tips here so we don't spark our machine. We'll feed that wire through a strain relief and put another little strain reliever here on our BX. Tighten that up a bit. So you can see with that little spark there that we do have power and we should use some kind of fusing in here just so if something goes wrong, the fuse blows out instead of the electronics. So we've got the standard car fuse. This one's rated at 40 amps at 32 volts. Really all we need is about a 15 amp fuse here, but this should give us some measure of protection. We're going to wire this through on the positive side. We've got a fuse holder that matches our fuse and we'll just strip off a little bit of this insulation here. We'll form a little edge, a crimp on this so it'll loop under our device nicely. We've got screw terminals here and we're just going to slip that positive wire right under one of our terminals. In a larger installation, this would be done in a separate box, but for a small one, this should be fine. Now, we need to run the other side of the positive wire to our charge controller, and we need a little piece of wire for that. So now we've got our little jumper wire ready to go. We're going to strip that off and connect it to the other side of our fuse. So we've got our solar positive connection here ye labeled yellow and we'll just snug that wire down. We've got our solar negative coming in. That goes to the solar negative. It's also labeled right here. And we've got our little ground wire. Let's strip that off. and mount that here in the ground connection. Green is always ground. Green or bare wire for the ground. Right in there. Now we're ready for our battery connections. 